In this video, I'm sharing with you a review after the first year of growing my Chinese Mormon apricot trees. I have two of them growing. My husband and I have been growing trees out here in Northwest Ohio, Harding is zone 5B6, Ohio, for about, gosh, I think it's been about, I think 18 years actually when we first moved in, uh, 2003. And it's been a fun adventure. So these were two new trees, new, a new variety for us to try. And I'm excited to share with you how they're growing. I've got a lot of weeds back here, so no judging. Back here's where my apricots are that we planted last year. The tree's kind of neat, especially this one's doing really well. Um, that one I'm pretty sure got attacked by the deer early on. I didn't get any fruit this year on these, but it's a beautiful tree. I'm actually gonna get in there and prune this back, but I'm gonna wait till it's a little cooler. It's just too hot right now. I think it might stunt the tree if I do it, um, but getting closer to autumn, I'm gonna prune it back a little um, so it's not so much taller than that one, but it is a pretty tree. There's a few bugs on it, as you can tell. Japanese beetle love this. What did a Japanese beetle not love, right? Um, that's a pretty tree. Need to shape it. But as far as getting a harvest, uh, not so much. Um, actually, I didn't even see blooms on this one. Uh, what is this up here? Nope. Just a pretty tree. It's a pretty tree. We'll keep it growing and see what happens. If it survives, it's showing doing good so far. It's got a pretty trunk, pretty trunk on it. And, and um, we put these bars up to keep the deer away from scuffing on it. That actually helped. Um, the biggest thing was like on this one, this one's in the worst location for deer because the woods, they trail through here all the time through the trail and the river's just right down there. So he got eaten back. Um, these branches did and this one did. Um, probably could prune this again. Just prune it down here. Um, also it would help if I wrap some twine around this, which I will do before autumn, um, because they'll be back and they'll want to rub on them and eat on it. But if you put some twine up and around here, the stakes, that actually helps protect the shrub as well, or the tree and shrubs actually, especially fruit trees like this. This one's doing really well. That one looks nice. I like them back here. We'll see what happens. It's a pretty tree. If they produce, they produce. Uh, it's an apricot. Now the Pluots are doing amazing the first year here. Same size tree. I've got at least, at least a dozen fruits on it. And I'll have to share that video later, uh, the Pluots. So watch for that on my YouTube. So here's my update. I do recommend these. It's a pretty tree, fun one to shape. Um, yeah, there it is. Thanks for checking out my video today. I look forward to sharing more of my trees and shrubs and perennials and annuals and all kinds of creative living and growing ideas that you can grow, some of which you can grow year round actually. And you can find all this information and more on my website at brenhaas.com. I hope to see you there.